हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट थ्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड सोशल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड आवर टॉपिक इज द डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी अ मोर डायरेक्ट एक्टिविस्ट रोल ऑफ द स्टेट in bringing forth socio economic transformation was assigned by the constitution of india through directive principles of state policy these principles are not directly enforceable by the law courts but the courts while interpreting the constitution including the fundamental rights are to be guided by them the constitution enjoins the state to regard them as fundamental in governance and to apply them when making laws now let us move to the point common good and life of dignity the most fundamental directive to the state is to strive to secure a social order in which justice social economic and political shall inform all institutions of their national life the state shall in particular strive to minimize inequalities in income and eliminate inequalities of status facilities and opportunities not only among the individuals but also among groups of people residing in different areas or engaged in different vocations article 38 in particular the state shall direct its policies toward the securing adequate means of livelihood for all citizens men and women equally distribution of ownership and control to best serve the common good preventing concentration of wealth and means of production to the common detriment ensuring equal pay for equal work for both men and women protection of health and strength of workers men and women prevention of the abuse of children and facilitation of the children to grow in a healthy manner and with the freedom and dignity article 39 now the next point is in the sphere of law most other articles in this part of the constitution part 4 are elaborations of these basic objectives the state shall secure that the operation of the legal system promotes justice on a basis of equal opportunities and shall in particular provide free legal aid by suitable legislation or schemes or in any other way to ensure that opportunities for the securing justice are not denied to any citizen by reason of economic and other disabilities article 39 a added in 1977 by the 42nd amendment of the constitution The state shall endeavor to secure for all the citizens a uniform civil code throughout the territory of India Article 44 The state shall steps to separate the judiciary from the executive in the public services of the state Article 50 The state shall take steps to organize village panchayat and endow them with such powers and authority as may be necessary to enable them to function as units of self government article 40 now let us move to the point in the economic sphere there is a more guarded promise in the economic sphere the state shall within the limits of its economic capacity and development make effective provision for securing the right to work to education and to public assistance in case of unemployment old age sickness and disablement and in other cases of undeserved want 
Article 41. The right to work as such cannot be granted by any liberal democratic state simply because it does not control all the means of production. The system of social insurance is also provided by only developed industrial countries through its operation is unstable. For a developing countries like India, the promise of universal right to work and social insurance is obviously not ambitious. The state shall regard the raising of the level of nutrition and the standard of living of the people and the improvement of public health as among its primary duties and in particular endeavor to bring about prohibition of the consumption except for medicinal purposes of intoxicating and harmful drugs. Article 47 now let us move to the next point rights of workers the state shall make provision for securing just and human conditions of work and for maternity relief the state shall endeavor to secure by suitable legislation or economic organization or in any other way to all workers industrial agricultural or otherwise a living wage, conditions of work, ensuring a decent standard of life and full employment to leisure and social and cultural opportunities. And in particular, the state shall endeavor to promote cottage industries on an individual or cooperative basis in rural areas. Article 43. By the 42nd Amendment to the Constitution, the state was enjoined enjoy to step up by suitable legislation or any other way to ensure the participation of workers in the management of undertaking establishments of other organizations engaged in any industry. Article 43rd A. Now let us move to the next point for children and the weaker sections. The state is directed to provide within a period of 10 years from the proclamation of the constitution to all children up to the age of 14 years, article 45. The state shall promote with special care and educational and economic interest of the weaker sections of the people and in particular of the dual caste and the dual tribe and shall protect them from social injustice and all forms of exploitation. Article 46. Now the next point is in the sphere of agriculture and environment. The state shall endeavor to develop agriculture and industry along modern scientific lines. Article 48. It is the obligation of the state to protect every monument or place or object of historic interest declared by the parliament to be national importance from spoliation, disfigurement, destruction, removal, disposal or export or as the case may be. Article 49. Article 48A incorporated by the 42nd Amendment in 1977 and joins the duty to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the forests and wildlife of the country. Now let us sum up the unit. This unit focused on the developmental aspirations of the national movement that were embodied in the constitution of India, the highest legal political charter of the Indian polity. The Indian constitution enshrined in itself the positive aspect based on experiences of the people around the world. 
in fact the preamble remains the soul of the constitution with the utmost aim of safeguarding the rights of the people and ensure justice in all aspects there is also a provision for directive principles of state policy regarded as the fundamental in the matters of governance it also ensures to safeguard the rights of the workers children weaker sections and nurture develop and protect agriculture environment forest and wildlife of the country now let us wind up the session and take rest and we have come to the end of the unit thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self learning podcasts